Wave after wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Officials and newsmen at first discounted those eyewitness descriptions as being beyond belief. However, the reports persisted. Medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured. I, th I think we have some late word just arriving, and we interrupt to bring this to you. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. When this emergency first began, radio and television were advising people to stay indoors, behind locked doors for safety. Well, that situation has now changed, and we're able to report a definite course of action for you. Civil defense machinery has been organized to provide rescue stations with food, shelter, medical treatment, and protection by armed National Guardsmen. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. This list will be repeated throughout our news coverage. Look for the name of the, of the rescue station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. In connection, an emergency meeting was called. <laughs> working to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Yes, we have some answers. But first, let me stress the importance of seeking medical attention for anyone who has been injured in any way. We do not yet know what complications may arise from such injuries. Is there a connection between the radiation from the recent Venus probe and, uh, and the epidemic of murders? Well, the Venus probe did carry an unusual amount of radiation, certainly not to cause Mutations. At the university, in the cold room, we had a cadaver. A cadaver from which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and started to move its trunk. It was dead, but it tried to move. Now, any dead bodies must be disposed of immediately, preferably by permission. How long then after death then can can the body become reactivated? Oh well, we don't know for sure. It could be a matter of minutes. Minutes? Uh, that doesn't make a, a f give a family much time for arrangements. Oh, no, no, right. There's not a good time to make a, a funeral service. Any dead body must be burned. You, 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 must, you must take them out into the street and, and, and burn them. You have to burn them immediately. Stop them in gasoline and burn them. Look, you know, the bereaved will have to forego whatever dubious comforts there will be from a funeral service. But, they're just dead flesh and dangerous. 